Did you know that the rules for labelling allergens on food are changing? If you make and sell food that needs to be labelled, there are rules that you need to follow so you get your label right. New Zealand Food Safety has created guidance called Allergen Labelling, knowing what's in your food and how to label it, to help you understand the changes. Let's take a look at the new rules together. The new rules make understanding food labels easier for consumers, especially those with food allergies, as it will be easier knowing what is in the food they are buying. So, what are the new rules? All allergens must be declared no matter how little is in the food you make or sell. Allergens must be declared in the ingredients list and also in a contained statement. All allergens must be written in bold to make sure they stand out and the font needs to be at least the same size as the rest of the ingredients list and contains statement. There are specific words you must use to describe allergens. To help consumers understand the exact allergen in the food, some general terms are no longer being used, such as nuts. So, what are the correct words to describe allergens, I hear you ask? Instead of printing, cereals containing gluten, or gluten to cover wheat, barley, rye and oats being in your food, now your contained statement must specify wheat and gluten as two separate allergens. Instead of putting shellfish on your label, you must now say if it is a crustacea or a mollusk. And instead of tree nuts, you must now name the nine specified nuts in both the ingredients list and contained statement. Don't forget, they need to be bolded. Here are some examples of labels that have been updated to meet the new rules. To get the label right for this yummy seafood chowder, we need to add the allergens into the ingredients list. These will be in brackets next to the ingredient and in bold. This frozen meal already has a contained statement, but the whole statement needs to be in bold and the word shellfish needs to be replaced with crustacea and mollusk. Okay, time for another example. Here's an up bar. To get this label right, we need to bold the allergens in the ingredient list. These don't need to be in brackets, as the name of the ingredient is also the required allergen name, so we can simply bold them. The current product has a statement, contains nuts. We need to change this to contains almonds, pecans. All done. If your food contains added sulfites at a level of 10 mg per kilogram or more, you need to make this clear on the label. In the ingredients list, you need to add sulfites in brackets and in bold after the relevant ingredient. And put sulfites in your contained statement in bold. This makes it really clear for consumers. If you're selling food that doesn't need to be labelled, you'll need to provide details of what allergens are in the food using the required allergen names. This could be on signs for customers to see, provided to the customer on request, or written on a menu. The new rules came into effect on the 25th of February 2021. Food businesses have three years to update their label, so make sure your labels are up to scratch by the 25th of February 2024. There are a few extra rules you need to know about. You can find out more in the guide Allergen Labeling, knowing what's in your food and how to label it. This document will help you to understand the new rules and includes a checklist to help you check your label. For more information about the new rules, visit the website on screen.